Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Let me make sure I got everything up and good and going. Uh, an attempted invade there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and update my stream title to illustrate what on earth is going on while I try not to screw up the camera any more than I already have. This is going to be LMQTC. That's Tianxi I by Power. Uh, mm, excuse me. Going up against X... Velocity? The Dad Slammers! Update! Uh, Dad Slammers featuring uh, some of the better members of Velocity. We'll go ahead and do some team introductions. If you're just now joining us, then welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, this is... Uh, this is the Dad Slammers, bottom lane of Impactful and Eveniscus, the support for the uh, rest in peace Velocity Gaming, uh, do need to turn back on my camera. Whoa! Not sure that was necessarily necessary, but either way, um, yeah, getting back into things, um, Dad Slammers, NK Inc. in the jungle on Fiddle 6. Fiddle 6 received some nerves here in patch 3.15. Now all 3 second CCs are now 2.25 seconds, so, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I did change the title to LMQ Tian C. Uh, TSM just finished playing, uh, they actually lost their last game, now it's actually a gank there from No Name on a Golden Glue. Yeah, Golden Glue the mid laner, I really like this guy, I've watched his stream for a really long time, twitch.tv slash Golden Glue. He's pretty amazing as far as mid laners are concerned, impactful, taking a cue to the face there. A lot of damage there from the, uh, Ardent Blaze and then of course the Light Slinger passive giving him some easy last hits, but mid lane, you can see Golden Glue going in there, nice knock up there onto Wei Zhao. And Golden Eagle is, of course, playing Yasuo. Uh, champion, a little bit new, and to be honest, I haven't had a chance to play him all that much myself, so I'm really glad that, you know, we get a chance to, you know, learn champions for, like, a couple of weeks, a couple of months before they enter competitive play. Uh, for right now, uh, yeah, Jesse can't walk anywhere near Godlike right now. He's gonna go in for the all-in, a couple more auto-attacks, and that's what happens. Literally, he walked up. Uh, let's, let's, let's go over this right now. He died here. He got a CS here. That's the distance of death. So, if you're playing top lane, probably want to watch out for that. More, though, going to go down here. A couple more auto attacks and impactful. Great gank there by NK Inc. Coming down, giving a kill back over to the Dad Slammers. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably avoid saying their name a whole lot. Either way, this will probably be some, uh, probably be some more uh, relaxed casting. Um, this is a this is a really weird place to be because, like, oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this. I should learn to do this, but yeah, let's just be real. I haven't done it all that often. Here we go. Um, choo -choo -choo, lighting up champions. Um, yeah. So this is gonna be very like sort of low key casual. Um, it's not a tournament. It's just spectating ranked fives. I mean, granted, these teams are incredible. LMQ Tianxi, a team over from China. If you're just now joining us or are new to LMQ. Then, uh, thanks for checking out the stream. Uh, Ackerman is actually LMQ's godlike. If you've ever watched, um, pretty much any sustained viewership of, um, of, L of LML, or L LPL, rather. League of Legends circuit in China. You've seen godlike play before. That guy lives up to his name more often than not. Now, really putting the pain on a Jesse down below half health. You can even, like, dive him at this point and look at where NK Inc. is coming in from behind. Looking for the gank. He's not even going up to help. He's like, hey, man. There's a white down here, I can life steal that, but immediately you're gonna see no name coming through the same tribush now. Could be very dangerous. Nice ward there dropped by Jesse. But NK Inc. there, he's gonna walk right into no name. There's the auto attack, here comes the dive. Nice silences the crow bouncing right down between Ackerman, who's godlike, and no name. Are they still gonna look for this? Ackerman takes about half his health and damage now. With some roam here from Yasuo. Golden Glue, gonna see if he can pick up a kill. He is level six. Can't quite find enough cues to go for the knockup with Seal Tempest. Now Wei Zhao. Who's actually Zhao Wei Zhao, not the uh, AD carry there. There's going to be the knockup. A lot of damage. Keep in mind the ultimate cooldown there for, uh, for Golden Glue. Got to go in there. Very low health. Look at this. The double... Double Brawler's Gloves. There is the ultimate deep underneath the turret. Golden Glue trying to escape. Keep in mind, turret shots don't actually proc his way of the Wanderer passive, so they don't give him the shield. But still, the all-in underneath the turret. Very, very low cooldown as well. Top lane, the dive. Not successful there. 
Ackerman unable to pick that up. NK Inks positioning, walking forward. Looking for some CC, the flash, the fear, the bounces, the crows are too good, those stuffed animals. Uh, a little bit of a fail there on Jesse's Dragon's Descent, but at the same time, no name gets out away. Nice kill. Picked up there on to Godlike. 12 inch show, no buff. Uh, yes, I am the real Rapid. I don't know if there are other ones. Actually, there's this... Uh, I got in rapid followed me on Twitter the other day. It was, it was pretty cool. We had fun. Uh, either way, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you're just now watching, this is LMQ, a Chinese team from, uh, strangely enough, China. They're here uh, for the purposes of competing in the NA Challenger scene in uh, Riot's Coke League, uh, Coke Zero Challenger League, more specifically. They'll be starting up here in not all that long. Uh, so back to the game. I should probably start commentating this. Uh, a little bit more seriously. Eveniscus uh, from Velocity, they are with Impactful. Now, Impactful is a player who's played for a very long team. I believe he played for his CSL team back in the days that he was going to college uh, on Texas A&M, I want to say. I don't, I, I don't exactly remember what team he played for, but either way, uh, he's been around in competitive scene for a while. Golden Glue, man. I think this guy has one of the longest win streaks I've ever seen out of almost any North American mid lane player. Um, it's kind of the anti Scara. Where when he streams, he wins more. More damage to be traded out there by Evaniscus. Takes some in return. But uh, yeah, Golden Glue, he's actually ridiculously good. I like him. I know a lot of other uh, really high elo players think he sucks. But hey, I'm entitled to my opinion. And that I will be exercising at all points in time. Um, go over the lineup uh, continuing. Yeah, Zhao Wei Zhao, not Wei Zhao the AD carry for World Elite. World Elite going through some big roster changes recently. And... Uh, well, uh, it'll be interesting to see if Wei Zhao still stays around in the competitive scene. But for now, no name. Wei Zhao looking to secure a blue buff. The roam from Golden Glue on down towards the Dragon. Something great about running a uh, very high ability power Fiddlesticks. No AP item, but still 27 AP is that, hey, you get double the crit chance, and there you go. First Dragon of the game going to the Dad Slammers. Ren versus LMQ. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, this is not actually a scrim. Uh, Moojman. This is ranked fives, uh, streamed from the la ranked 5v5's ladder. I missed a kill in mid lane because I'm bad and busy looking at Twitch chat, which is harder than you'd expect. The roam th from Dragon, NK Inc. passes through a ward. You'd think that that would signal Wei Zhao to be a little bit more careful, but oath over the wall, no fear, no problem. Zen K Inc. right over there and does take out <laughs> Zhao. Wei Zhao gives a lot of assist gold back to the rest of his team. Does go down, so it's a kill for a kill, but at the same time, should be a turret as well. No, no minion wave and the recall from Jesse. Gotta take a look up to the top lane, man. Uh, Godlike has been pushing this entire time. Evanus gets back in the bottom lane. Together with Impactful. Mm. Ah, yeah, excuse me. Uh, I just have to keep my voice. I've been casting for like eight hours today, so pardon me. Um, I'm a little bit rough, and solo casting is a little bit rough to you. So hopefully you guys enjoy uh, watching. I think it's pretty cool. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any feedback about the stream, feel free to send me a private message on Twitch, or more importantly, follow me at Rapid Casting on Facebook and Twitter. Because um, I'd love to hear what you have to say. This is one of my first times streaming, so there's a lot of stuff to improve, and I'd love to hear what you have to say. Back to the matter at hand. Back to the game, uh, Golden Glue's Yasuo. Now, he's going for a pretty interesting build. The double Brawler's Gloves works out pretty well because it builds into the Static Shiv, which is the first item you'll see built on almost any Yasuo. Very low cooldown ultimate, but Last Breath can only be used if there's a knockup. And I actually love this synergy together with uh, Lulu down in the bottom lane. Eveniscus, I'm not sure if they coordinated that necessarily, but it's an area of effect knockup. Along uh, with, uh, I forget what it was, the uh, Last Breath, Steel Tempest, yeah. Uh, from Golden Glue. So in a team fight, Golden Glue is going to have a lot of opportunity to lock down, lock things down. Now, notice he's actually using that Wind Wall to block the projectile from uh, from Null Sphere. And stop Wei Zhao from actually getting off a lot of harassment. And does have some potions running as well. And so Zhao Wei Zhao is going to have to watch out. There is the knockup. A lot of damage from popping that Steel Tempest mid um, mid dash. Top lane. I'm gonna hit the backspace button and hopefully not a button that's gonna hurt anything. 
Okay, I'm not sure what I just did. I hit something that it was it was relatively painful. Here's the backspace. We're gonna watch this. There's the drain. Pretty simple gank there by NK and Red Buff Proc, and there's the ignite to pick up the kill. Um, apologies. I'm trying to take care of a million things at the same time, so it's uh it's a little bit rough. But as the game progresses, it's nice to see the Dad Slammer is actually up on LMQ Tianzi. Keep in mind, this is the same LMQ Tianzi that lost two games to Team Solo Mid, then beat them handily. And is now taking on uh, a rising challenger team in North America. It's the remnants of the Velocity roster trying to make something back for themselves. No name was able to steal away that blue buff. Or not the blue buff, the uh, the wraith. The blue wraith away from Golden Glue. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this mid lane. A lot of pressure there. No block on the silence now. Knockup will find itself its way on to Golden Glue. The dunk's down. There's no name. Takes him out. Uh, excuse me. Nice gank there in the mid lane. We'll even things out in a kill. Starting to come the way of Cassidy. And always something you have to watch out for. So with Wei Zhao finding a kill, that is going to mean a completed Archangel stab. Now, keep in mind, only 156 stacks on it. Probably not going to be that significant. Um, but... The, the problem about Cassidy is that there's no way to stop him. I mean, if you stomp him hard enough early on and keep him down all game long, then yeah, great. If you play for the early game, that's fine. But it's season four, games tend to last a pretty long time. And Cassidy, even if he's just used mainly for utility, uh, he's got a great slow from Force Pulse. And it's actually interesting to note that Zhao Wei Zhao is actually maxing Force Pulse over the silence from Null Sphere because he realizes he's not going to be able to harass Golden Glue if he's on point blocking things out with a Wind Wall. So what he's doing is he's saying, hey, you can't block my damage. Force Pulse actually deals overall more damage per rank than maxing Q. So it's going to be more effective at getting damage down on the Golden Glue. Vasily's just shoving out that bottom lane. Vasily, interesting to notice, uh, there's actually the knockup right underneath the turret ultimate as well. From Golden Glue sets up perfectly for a Crow Storm. The surprise party. Surprise party. Surprise party. Want to buy Pie Fiddle 6. Either way, uh, NK Inc. is going to get in there. Uh, second dive. Exact same gank. So whenever if, this is like a lesson for you guys to learn. If you're at mid lane, you go up against the fiddle sticks. Expect to get dough from that brush over and over again. It's working pretty effectively against one of the best mids in China in the world. Zhao Wei Zhao coming over here to North America with LMQ, looking to make his mark on the challenger scene. But so far, the dad slammers have their uh, have their work cut out for them. Turret goes down in the bottom lane of Sealy. He's doing a good job in CS. He's up about 30 over Impactful. But at the same time, losing your turret means that it is now 3-0 in turrets in favor of the Dad Slammers. Uh, Trinket being uh, purchased there is to switch over to Sweeping Lens for Jesse. Top lane, his turret will go down. This will be the first turret of the game. For LMQ Tian C, uh, you got no name top lane looking for possibly some potential. The tickling, the snuggling. Coming out bottom lane, not actually able to catch in there. On to Vasily, slow, long range there with the glitter lance. Evaniscus, man, he's gonna actually pop the Talisman of Ascension. Impactful does not have the culling, but it's actually Yasuo gets in there. One crit to find the damage, flash over the wall, dash through onto the white. I did, I, I did not actually know you could do that. Golden Glue, teaching me something new. Using the white to dash over the wall, and that's going to be a blue steal here. LMQ. Finding some weakness there with the bottom lane. I'm going to hit the backspace button, because in the meantime, while you were sleeping, we got some damage down in the top lane. There's actually a weird interaction. Not sure who got knocked up, who went where, but it's a two-on-one just C. They said from all sides, flash in there by no name. Sending a message, but that takes out Shivana. It's another kill coming the way of LMQ, but they're going to lose a dragon for it. Anytime you send your jungler top when dragon's up, especially in such a competitive professional setting, you're going to lose a dragon for it. From Resplendence, I would stream my own solo queue games, but trust me, that's not something that anybody's interesting. I'm always interested when I see these players in, you know, gold, silver, uh, even platinum, Streaming, I'm like, okay, well, I could watch you, or I could watch, you know, a player who's on a professional team carrying his, you know, some of the best players in North America. So I feel like if you're looking for somebody to stream, uh, somebody that you want to watch, then uh, 
go go find somebody else. I'll, I'll like send my viewers to a stream after this. I've never been in that position before, but there's a lot of great people streaming currently. So I do want to thank everybody for tuning for tuning in and watching me tonight. Uh, TSM put up some great games. Uh, actually, won a best of three against LMQ two one. The last game LMQ actually did take down, so that was actually pretty impressive to watch. Uh, but actually struggling here in their game versus the Dad Slammers. Now down about 5,000 gold. Zhao Wei Zhao going to be in a little bit of trouble there. Golden Glue, can you find the kill? Ignite's down. Where is going to be the knockup? Does not land. I'm not sure how he missed that on Wei Zhao. NK Inc. actually flashing in there. Gets the fear there onto No Name. Who actually could pose a little bit of a problem. The bounce will not land. It doesn't bounce back to Wei Zhao. And that's going to be casted in uh, with another kill coming his way. Mm. Apologies, I am a little bit sick, so doing my best to shout cast. Solo casting rough anyway, but uh, either way, it's going to be... Bear with me as I uh, am attempting to make this work. Uh, yeah, Golden Glue tweeted at me and said that the dad, that the dad slammers were tuning in. There is a three-minute spectator delay and no pauses. So no ghost thinking possible, but nice to know that the Dad Slammers, you know, they're, they're here. They're watching. They're actually doing pretty well against uh, a great team coming over from China. They had a crazy run through the challenge or through their ranked five games all the way up to Challenger. And are now really deserving their uh, their place here. Beating some of the best teams in North America, like Team Solo Mid. If you guys were watching from earlier, then yeah, it's uh, it's pretty impressive to check things out. Oh, Polly! Uh, thanks for thanks for the nice uh, nice comment in chat. Somehow, amongst all the other streamers, dude, what do you have slow mode set on? Holy crap! <laughs> uh, best mods North America. Either way. <laughs> uh, yeah, Dragon. Um, something to point out. NK Inc. actually was able to grab that on Fiddlesticks. So more global gold coming the way of uh, the Dad Slammers. Gold difference though is actually only about 2,000. Evaniska's bottom lane. There's the knockup, but is Yasuo gonna be able to turn this one around? The flash in, the ignite, the damage. Look at those auto attacks. Golden glue, please. Able to get in there. Looking for an infinity edge as his second item, but a nice follow through. The bottom lane there for LMQ getting taken out, and for now, it's gonna be middle turret traded away there. NK ain't gonna try to clear things away. And Oh my god, perfect prediction there. The wave clearing there from NK Inc. Working out pretty well. Able to keep the turret alive for the time being. And uh, so yeah, a little bit a uh, little bit of a rough positioning there for just C. Could face some problems here. There's the silencing coming out. Man, there's so many good names. I feel like if Lucian ultimates, like, if that's a trend that Riot uses for their ultimate naming conventions. Could see some pretty hilarious things. I always love like the culling, the dulling, the snuggling. It's it's, it's pretty cool. I what was that? Oh, I saw one on, on Reddit earlier on. I forget what it was, but it was pretty cool. Uh, Jesse coming around the corner as she comes on to godlike blue buff. Just taken out of the picture, and now as Zhao Wei Zhao comes in there looking for an initiation, gonna have to watch out. There's the disengage from Jesse. Dragon's descent over back into lane, and now it's gonna be the white taken away by Godlike. As you see, an NK Inc., you can tell the Dad Slayer is starting to have some problems. My vocal cord is having some problems as well. As I've been casting for a while, so uh. It's, it's starting to take its toll. Uh, knock up there from Golden Glue. Man, that actually has a really long range. If I want to see something nerfed from, from Yasuo, the range on his knock up, it's pretty monstrous. Let's just be real. Um, still roaming through the enemy jungle. Going to come around behind the bottom lane there of LMQ. Now, Moore actually does have a stun up, but here comes in Golden Glue. Dashes in, immediate Tibbers. Look at that damage block in there. Where is the knockup? Not going to come out there. Golden Glue overextends just a little bit. We'll have to back on out for now. Nobody actually collapsing there from LMQ. Yeah, two people mid lane that could come bottom and try to turn this one around. Golden Glue actually didn't take as much damage as I expected. A lot of that being blocked out by Way of the Wanderer, which currently, scaling by level, of course, blocks 290 damage. Uh, excuse me, a blue buff going over to Zhao Wei Zhao. He's looking for kills. Dragon up in about 40 seconds, so definitely something to keep an eye on. Vasily and Moore setting up for this will shove the bottom wave 
with a uh, true shot barrage it's up in 30 seconds plenty of time to head back to base and if you look at the gold counts actually not all that much only about 800 so that's gonna be enough to what are you gonna buy all right there's gonna be five speeds uh sightstone and nomads medallion completed there just see on the wrong side of Godlike, they're just going to agree to disagree and to clear out minion waves up there. Ackerman, or Godlike rather, mid lanes, where are the actions at? Golden Glue trying to go in, gets out alive, no knockoff to follow up. But now Zhao Wei Zhao gets back in there. Will it be enough damage? The crow bounce is good. Golden Glue wants the damage, gets exhausted. There's a perfect polymorph for Evan Niskus. Support Daddy is former name, definitely living up to that role. Getting in here with the Daddy Slammers. Turn that team fight around, and now NK Inc. surviving that. I thought he was dead for sure. Makes it out alive, and now you're gonna have to check out mid lane. There's gonna be uh, Golden Glue. Will go down there to the burn. Shield there from Eveniscus. Not enough. Not in time. As now Godlike gets a stun, flashes away the flash in from Jesse. Turns on the burnout, slice over the wall. No follow up. No glitter lands to land. Godlike with a pretty impressive escape. There is the ultimate true shot barrage. Will it catch in on Godlike? No. That was my best attempt at doing a. Uh, Right, Lycius or Garen, as you guys may know, he does the uh, he does the camera work for LCS, and he did that with the famous snipe from TSM as Wild Turtle got the fountain kill. If you guys remember that, that's what I was attempting. I'm not a great camera person, so I can, however, spot out on the map that Baron Buffy is being done by the Dad Slammers. Uh, let's see, we're having some connection issues. Dude, should be up and ready to go. I think some weird Twitch lag.